Hi, so today we're going to look at how to get some measurements off a chassis to see if it's been twisted or deformed in an accident, for instance. Now, the first thing we need to do, in fact, is to align it to a coordinate system. And to align to a coordinate system, you've got to select some um, entities to align it to. So that's what we are going to be doing next. So I'm going to do a point plane line line alignment so i need to create first of all a plane so i go to add entity and we'll do it by selection on this part of the chassis which i think is possibly the truest and create that plane the next thing i've got to do is create um, a line and I'm going to do that by first of all choosing some slots in this um, chassis. So I'm going to create two slots and I'm going to constrain them on plane one. And I can zoom in and choose, I'm going to choose in fact by boundary selection and it highlights the boundaries that are available to me. So I'm going to choose that one and create a slot and I'm going to choose this one and create a slot finally I'm going to create a line between the center of slot 1 and slot 2 So slot one center, slot two center, create and close. And now I have everything I need to align this um, to a more sensible origin. So all I do is I say that plane one is going to be my XY plane um, line one is going to be my x axis and the center of slot one. going to be my origin for x and now I have um, a well set up system with my origin set there so I'm going to say align and I have this alignment to which is now active so now we can proceed to creating some other points to measure from so what I'm going to do is select some these witness points and create slots or holes or circles in them. So I'm going to first of all turn off the, the plane so that it's a little bit more evident. And we're going to start by creating these slots. And I'm going to do that by boundary selection. And I'm going to click here to create slot 3. Here to create slot four. These do not look symmetrical to me or circular to me, so I think they are slots. So I'm going to select a slot here as well, create it, and a slot here, and create it. I'm also going to add a couple of circles because these are circular holes and I'm going to do it by a boundary selection again and click on this one create circle 2 create circle 3 so now we're ready to start some measurements so I'm going to 
uh, turn off our line which kind of gets in our way a little bit and start some measurements so I'm going to do point to point distances first of all and I'm going to start with a slot 3 to slot 4 center which is at the top so slot 3 center and slot 4 center and there you have one measurement we're then going to do another measurement from slot 2 to slot 1 which is down at the uh, bottom so slot 2 center to slot 1 center and we have that measurement but where we're going to see if the chassis is twisted is in the diagonals so we're going to do another measurement from slot 3 to slot 1 and then a measurement from slot 4 to slot 2 Unfortunately, those appear on top of each other, but that's okay. So what we can do now is there are our measurements and we can turn off one of the measurements. So that was a thousand, the one the remaining is 1,018 millimeters. And if we turn this one on, 1,023, so there's 24. So there's a six millimeter difference in the diagonals between these points which is a slight very slight twist on the chassis but that's how you can get your measurements of chassis twisting and we could have done other points um, for instance we can go from circle circle one center which is on the left to circle two center and that gives us another dimension and again you can do diagonals to check for um, chassis twist or non-parallelism there we are quick measurements from a chassis